hey what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel here at crypto nation if you're new here it's totally free to subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications and uh, once again thanks to my all my uh recently new subscribers and hey, let's get right on to it um want to do an update here we have a uh, uh, first of all, just want to start off with Bitcoin. We got Bitcoin at 67,136. I heard that somebody told me that it went up to 68 today, but I didn't see it. I was at the gym, but one of my subscribers that we go to the same gym, he told me it was that it hit 68, but I actually never saw it. But, you know, but I did see it go over 67,000. And um, ETH is at, um, ETH is at 2,600. So I keep saying it over and over again. Hopefully this time around, you know, we don't get rejected at, at around 68, 69,000. Like I said before, 70K is going to be a magic number. Uh, I believe that a lot of altcoins, meme coins are going to start going, really going parabolic. If Bitcoin can hit 70K and then start to slowly climb up from 70K and find new levels of support. But I'm just really hoping this time around, if we do finally hit that 70K, we don't, you know, we don't get rejected. But, you know, we're getting closer to the election. So eventually the Bitcoin... The Bitcoin has to come up, you know, no matter who gets elected president, whether it's Harris or Trump, you know, whether who, no matter who gets elected president, Bitcoin is going to go up regardless, um, you know, but they're just saying that Bitcoin is going to go up higher if, if Trump, you know, gets elected. That's just what that's just what the experts are saying. They're saying that Bitcoin can get up to 150 uh, this cycle if if Trump gets elected and then but if Kamala Harris get connect uh, get elected. Uh, Bitcoin will probably we may only see 125,000 Bitcoin if she gets elected, but we'll see. But but like I said, uh, you know, it come from my mouth. That's just what the experts are saying. Uh, but anyways, uh, things is looking good right now. We're on track. At least you know Bitcoin is back up to 67,000. It looked like we're it's gonna slowly pace back up to uh, 70. Anyways, I got a new uh, subscriber request. Uh, just came across my desk right here. Um, to review Terra, I never covered this one. Terra Classic. Uh, uh, now this is just let you know ahead of time. I am not none of this is financial advice, and I I am not in this position at all. But you know this is just a, a I got a request to um to, to cover this one. Uh, I don't know too. I do know that it was connected last board run. It was connected to that guy Doquan that stole millions or whatever, whatever millions or billions he stole. But he ended up getting arrested. Uh, but anyway, this Terra Classic coin. Um, it looked like a 507 billion market cap at, at three zeros, um, excuse me, four zeros, eight, 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 six. Okay. So this is at four zeros, 88, eight, six. So, um, like I said, this is a, this is a project that I never really, you know, covered. Like I said, it was a request, but I do know that, um, Take a look at that. Well, the one year chart, it looked like it's up 58% for the year. You know, when you look at all these meme coins that's been going crazy over the last year, that's like nothing, <laughs> you know, but uh, I guess this would be considered a, um, a kind of like a utility stable. Uh, let me see here. Go to the about. I only heard about this project, but I never really tapped in. Um, okay, it's connected to a stable coin. Terra is a blockchain protocol that uses fiat peg stable coins to power price stable global payment systems. According to the white its white paper, Terra combines the price stability and wide adoption of fiat currencies uh, with the censorship resistance of Bitcoin BTC and offers fast and affordable settlements. Uh, development on Terra began in January 2018 and its mainnet officially launched in April 2019. As of September 2021, it offers stable coins pegged to the U.S. dollar, South Korean won, uh, M Mongolian uh, Tur Turgric, and the International Monetary Fund's uh, special drawings rights basket of currencies and is intends to roll out additional options. Okay, on May... 28 uh, 20 excuse me on may 28 2022 the genesis block of the new chain was launched uh, to conduct future transactions under the name terra luna and the original terra chain was rebranded as terra classic okay the original native token luna has also been renamed as luna classic uh, lunc l-u-n-c 
okay, moreover, all network stable coins, UST, excuse me, UST, uh, KRT, and EUT have been renamed to the Terra Classic stable coins, and then there will be no Terra stable coins on the new chain, okay. All right, then, there's, then it says, okay, there's a theory that the additional term classic is the reference to the Ethereum classic split in 2017, according to CEO Do Kwan, okay, the, 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 that, that criminal <laughs> Do Kwan, the collapse of the US, the UST in the spring of 22 is the equivalent uh, moment of the um, Ethereum's uh, dial hack that took place in 2017. All right, but anyways, uh, here we go. What is going to classic? We know so you know blockchain that's like connected to stable coin. Then they like did some rebranding. It looked like, but anyways, long story short, all the information is on uh, is on the um, here on uh, Coin Market Cap. What makes it unique? Okay, all the information is here. So it says Terra seeks to uh, set itself apart through its use of fiat peg stable coins uh, stating that it combines the borderless benefits of cryptocurrencies with a day-to-day -day price stability of the fiat currency that keeps in one keeps a one-on-one -on -one peg through an algorithm that automatically adjusts stable coin supply based on its demand okay so I guess that's what their whole purpose you know for like you know for like when you talk about global currencies and stable coins it keeps them all connected and stuff like that transactions and stuff but anyways uh as far as the price take a look at that all-time chart oh wow this thing is down over literally down almost 100 percent 99.99 percent so we know during the bear during the bear market this coin really got hit hard i think this coin's all-time high was from what i heard okay it looked like it had an all-time high of 100 and did i see 103 dollars yeah back in uh What's that? March 31st of 2022 was at $103. And then, it, you know, then it crashed. The whole, you know, the whole Terra Luna crisis happened. And this thing went off of a cliff. It literally looked like a rug pull the way the price went down. And it, the price went down hard during the bear market. And it went all the way down to like way below a penny. It went to four zeros. This coin went all the way down to like four zeros from $100 over a hundred dollars all the way down to like four zeros four zeros percentage of a penny that's that's some crazy work right there that is definitely some crazy work um somebody really did a number on that <laughs> on the price you know when you look at the price but thanks to doquan you know they said it because you know he stole millions of dollars i say and that was another reason why he got arrested that doquan guy he, you know he was the, i guess the you know this was like his project but anyways but uh, but if you look at uh, Terra Classic, it's traded on pretty much on all major exchanges except Coinbase. I don't think Coinbase they ever list this. You could I, you could probably get this on Coin. I think you could get uh, get this on through the Coinbase wallet, but I don't think Coinbase is ever going to actually list it on the exchange. But I believe you can get it on the wallet. I believe I'm I'm gonna even double check. Uh, but yeah, there's Terra Classic. Um, now this could be opportunity going into the bull run. Um, where it is now, I don't. The coin got hit so hard, I honestly don't see the price going all the way back up to a hundred dollars from where we, from where it used to be. Um, the price got talk about getting hammered during a bear market. It, like it literally looked like it was a rug pull. Well, it kind of was because that's that's what you know um, that guy think. Like I said, thanks to the Doquan, but but this but I guess on the way up going into the bull run, this could be an opportunity. Okay, it looked like it's up. Um, it's up just over 52% for the year. So it looked like it's trying to make a little bit of recovery. But gosh, 100, $103 to like four zeros percent of a penny. Like I said, it's some really crazy work. Um, but anyways, um, uh, like I said, but the market cap is already at about a, at a 500, 508 million market cap. Uh, I could take a look at that. Let me see. Let me go to CoinGecko right quick. I can get the real market cap in the tokenomics. Okay, 507 million market cap. Okay, the same as coin market cap. Okay, circulating supply. You got what? Um, let's see here. 
Ta ta ta. Okay, six, just over six billion coins. Okay, so you got over six billion. Oh no, excuse me, six trillion coins. Okay, that's six. That's trillion. So the total supply is six trillion coins. The circulator supplies five point seven trillion. And uh, yeah, so it looks like most of the coins are in circulation. About 97, 98 percent of the coins are circulation. As far as a price prediction, unfortunately, I won't be able to. I'm not going to try to do a, a price prediction on this coin because, like I said, this is my first time covering this. This was a request. Um, it'll be hard to say. This is definitely not going back to like a hundred dollars to where it was, you know, back in 2020, like one twenty two, obviously. Right. Definitely not especially at this current market cap. But yeah, I could see this coin, I don't know, going going forward in a bull run. Like I said, I, I'm not going to do a price prediction. I'm going to let you guys decide what price you guys think Terra Classic is going to go. But me personally, I'm just going to do a quick re review because there was a request. I'm not going to do a price prediction because I honestly don't know. I'll If I try to do a price prediction, I'll be guessing. You know, I know, I know a lot of people expect, you know, crypto YouTubers to come out with a with a price prediction, but I'm not. Because I already know I'm going to be totally off. But the current market cap is at over 500. I can see this. Um, maybe I could just do a prediction on the market cap. Maybe this can go up to a four or five billion market cap this run. Uh, but, you know, maybe I don't know. Or maybe it can go higher. But yeah, but that's my take on um, on Terra Classic. Uh, let's see what the what the community is talking about. But the coin is down literally. The coin is literally down about a hundred percent down. So that could be opportunity, you know, to, you know, on on the way back up. You know what I mean? You you're talking about ninety nine point ninety nine percent. I'll just say you might as well just say the the coin is down a hundred percent. You know, which is which is it is. You know, from a hundred and three dollars to like all the way down to four zeros. But yeah, that's uh, my take on it. Okay, community saying. Okay, he said, I have Lunk and hope for the best, but it's hard to believe when history starts repeating itself. The team still has a lot of questions to answer, and there are ways to get the project off the ground. But unfortunately, that's not what, what they seem to want. Hmm. Yeah, you better be careful on a play like this as well. Especially when a team, they're not being, they're not being transparent with the investors, you know. But yeah, um, but like I said, this is definitely a risky play, but uh, but I said, like I said, this is opportunity as well. The fact that it's down about a hundred percent in the all-time chart, so yeah, so this can definitely get be an opportunity back on the upside, especially you know going going into twenty twenty five. But like I said, of course, none of this is financial advice. Just giving my my opinion. Okay, we've got some people that are bullish on Lunk. Alrighty. Alrighty, got people with their, just checking out the comments, see what the community is talking about. Then I'm going to wrap this up. Said Terra Forum Labs continue with progress with third party discussions to take over operations of some of the our pro, uh, products and services. However, in the case that they are not successful, we will be shutting down those products on October 30th, 2024. The products and services include, okay.
All right, guys. But anyways, that is that is my update on um, Bitcoin and uh, Terra Luna Classic. But tell me what the thing, what price uh, prediction do you guys have for this uh, project? But anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, post notifications. Hey, if you'd like to support the channel, like I say, get the channel membership. And uh, yeah, because I do uh, put out, you know, private content to the channel members. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.